Welcome to the French Drayman channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, your host, and I want to talk about corrugated pipe for yard drainage versus PVC pipe for yard drainage. I've seen all types of videos and I've heard all types of theories, but let's just talk about the reality of it all. Okay, let's start there. Let's talk about the reality. Uh, nothing that's theory. So we wrap our system in fabric and we prevent the dirt from migrating into the stone. The voids between the stone, that's where the water travels through. And the giant void that our corrugated pipe creates, the water just floods into that and it moves we did a French drain grid in this backyard, and we used corrugated pipe. We wrapped the system so that dirt doesn't migrate into the stone. This allows the water through hydrostatic pressures to just easily be released into the stone, move through the voids of the stone, through the big void of the pipe, and travel to our discharge line out to the front. This material is so indestructible. A lawnmower is not going to break it. If the ground settles, it's not going to break it. PVC, however, that is a different animal. PVC does crack. Now in the north, if you build yard drains out of PVC, you're going to have a crack system. I pull them out all the time. We see them all the time. And we know what failure looks like. If you're in a warm climate, I still have argument for why I wouldn't use PVC. Corrugated pipe, it floods in water, top, bottom, sides, not PVC. You have two or three holes in the bottom of PVC. That's it. Where we have eight slots per valley in our high octane. The water floods the trench during torrential rains. The water enters the pipe through the bottom, the sides, and if it rains hard enough, the top. We're taking in water 360 degrees around the entire pipe, not just rising up and coming in and flooding into the pipe through the bottom. So that's my argument for why PVC is a failed experiment. And corrugated pipe with eight slots is a far superior drainage pipe. We build a system that's fully contained and you don't have to have maintenance. And guys, you know, that's the one thing they thrive on. They want their maintenance truck out there making them money. So they want clean outs for you to have to come and uh, run, run something through because they didn't use fabric. Now that downspout that I'm showing, that's a gravity powered system. Think about the water coming off the roof. The velocity as the water comes down the downspout, that creates PSI. That stands for pounds per square inch. That's going to push any debris that fits through that, you know, gutter downspout. It, anything that fits through a downspout is going to fit through a four-inch pipe. No problem. That's why we use four-inch pipe and we don't use three-inch pipe. Corrugated pipe is far superior than PVC when you have eight slots all the way around it and you're taking the water in all the way around it. And when you have a torrential rain and you have solid corrugated pipe, People always say, oh, you're going to get shingle gravel in the ripples of the corrugated pipe. Well, that's true. You know, if you have low volumes of water and you don't have these pounds per square inch coming off the roof, that definitely could happen in certain situations. But even so, water would just go over a flat surface that collected shingle gravel. It would still flow fine. And with the flexibility of corrugated pipe and how indestructible it is, you don't have to worry about it cracking. If the ground settles, PVC cracks. That is it. Its strength is its weakness in yard drains. In the north, it's a terrible choice. So here we have, you know, many pipes. I'm creating as much void as possible. I want the water to flood into this system. I want it to contain so much water during a torrential rain that it doesn't have time to saturate the subsurface soil. See, that's the problem. Fast evacuation means you're not going to have spongy, muddy conditions in your yard. 
if you have slow evacuation, okay, so you got rid of the water. You don't have that pond. You don't have that lake with ducks on it. But you still have a squishy yard. So that's why I love eight-slot corrugated pipe. And I don't have a service van, and I don't prey on my clients. Once I build a system, it's fully contained. It's contaminant-free. It lasts forever. It doesn't need maintenance. Honestly, the install is it. The bottom line is the bottom line, and there's no maintenance, and there's no ongoing subscription to maintenance. That's what the guys love. They build these PVC drains with cleanouts, and they prey on their clients for years and years, they retire that way. When they get too old to dig a trench, they're riding around in their van laughing about blowing out all these drains that they built because they didn't use fabric and the dirt migrated into this into the uh, aggregate, which later migrates into the pipe, so they have to come and jet it out. When you don't use fabric, that's the reality of it. French Drain Man is an installation company without a single service vehicle. We do not have a service van, truck, service tech of any kind because our systems are proven to be maintenance-free by design, by just the reality of the fact that we're wrapping all of our aggregate, we're using an indestructible corrugated pipe, and we're flooding this system and you know collecting all the water, we're evacuating all the water, PVC pipe with no fabric, that's a disaster. I mean, that is just asking for a maintenance bill yearly, minimally. And what happens when that cracks? You have some ground settle and it cracks. And it's only taking water in from the bottom. It doesn't have holes all the way around. Again, it's just not, not that great of a product. When corrugated pipe has all these advantages it just makes pvc a distant second as far as for a choice of yard drain pipe now when guys install pvc pipe they got to put stone under it that's the only way it works that they can get the water up in the pipe now that's an issue because now you have water below the pipe and there's water left in the trench for tree roots and shrub roots to sniff out. They find that water and that takes out the system or it creates more maintenance because they got to send something in to cut those roots. The whole thing is a failed experiment. What we're doing here at French Drain Man, it's tried and proven, it's maintenance free. When you lay stone under a PVC pipe and you're not using fabric, like we lay our corrugated pipe right on the fabric. So you're not going to get all this mud inside your system. You're not going to have your system compromised. It's not going to slow down. I've never had a piece of corrugated pipe that was made of the virgin materials like the high octane yard drain pipe split, crack, do anything like PVC. Again, PVC is a distant second. In theory, that's one thing, but in reality, it's another. Hydrostatic pressure increases with depth because of the increasing weight of the fluid, which in this case would be yard water, exerting a downward force. That's how it enters a French drain. So don't let these guys kid you. They pour water on fabric and say, look, it's not taking it in. You know what? It's a joke. These guys, they're a joke. So in any case, I'm sorry if I vent and I have to let out my frustrations and all of, you know, all of the videos that I see and all the, you know, different things that mislead the homeowner. You know, it's just all a joke. It's a failed experiment. And they're over there beating to, you know, they're beating on their drum as if they just, you know, found the greatest thing since sliced bread. And you know what? We're building French drains like they were built a century ago. What does that tell you? And everything we do is engineered from years and years, decades and decades and decades of working with engineers off engineered plans. That's what we do. We have big aggregate with big voids, and we're doing everything we can to move more water. 
Now let's do a simple demonstration showing what stone with no fabric turns into. In my hand, I have three inch and a half round rock. They're laying loose in my hand, but they're up against one another. They won't compact because it's round rock, not crushed rock. What do you see? Look into those three rocks. What do you see? You see a void. What is that void for? It's to move water. That's what that void is for. So a lot of people have been asking, doesn't the water just fall out of high octane because of the big inlets? And hey, it's a legit question. So I'm trying to give you a visual. So that's what big round rock does. Look at the void, inch and a half round rock. Now, look at that void. This void moves 240 gallons per minute with only 1% slope. All right, so let's, let's entertain and educate all at once. All right, so here's your French drain on drugs, okay? All right, so here's your French drain on drugs. Your lawnmower's going over it. You're going over it. Where'd all the voids go? Where did all those voids go? They filled with mud. Holy smokes. Wait a minute. Okay, I got void. But as this, during our wet season, mixes with the subsurface soil, the voids disappear. The voids are gone. That's your French drain on drugs. Here's your French drain, highly educated. All the voids, all the voids stay in between the stone. None of the subsurface soil is going up into the stone and filling the voids. Again, your French drain on drugs. Your French drain, highly educated, healthy, and not on drugs. All right, everybody. Until that next video.